Freiburg, Maine, perched in the corner of the state's western mountains, is one of those New England places known almost entirely for one thing, its annual fair. A prize every game is a winner every Since 1851, the fair has drawn thousands of visitors for one week every fall, and then it's gone. The town, however, stays put. The truth is, Freiburg is a lovely little town the other 51 weeks of the year, too. Even without the midway, pig wrangle, and tractor pulls. Annual fairgoers may miss some of the views beyond the white fairground fences, but the mountains here make for a truly beautiful backdrop, and the Saco River runs through it all. So if we put you in here at Swans Falls, Beth Westerberg certainly knows the river. Her late dad, Fred, a registered Maine guide, began Saco River Canoe and Kayak in 1971 with his wife, Prudy. Today, mom and daughter keep things flowing. It's a family business, three generations worth. And decades worth of customers' canoes being lugged over to the nearby put-in on the river, which was moving briskly but calmly on this June day. People fish. Families love the river because there's beaches so the kids can stop and swim. From further south, Boston, what, three hours a up three here? A three-hour drive. Come over, you grab a canoe or yeah. a kayak. What was it, five minutes getting over here? Five minutes, yeah. And you're canoeing the Saco River. Canoeing the Saco River. And if afterward you're grabbing a really good cup of coffee in town, you have this woman to thank, even though she only moved to Freiburg in 2017. I have everything I need right here, you know, I can walk, I can ride my bike, but not coffee. So, so Elizabeth Bolduck Thorne went to barista school, then opened Fairgrounds Coffee just last fall. I didn't know anything about coffee, except for that I like to drink it. Turns out she has a lot of company on that and a lot of new customers too, even if some are old friends. It's just really nice to have this nice community space here and Elizabeth's just great at making everybody feel really welcome. I describe this as a community hangout, a place where everybody in the community can come and do their work, have coffee, meet with friends. In other words, a new and welcoming third place with really good coffee. If you'd like to chase that coffee with a pretzel, you'll find Ed Cook, better known in town as the pretzel guy, parked right outside, serving up, quite simply, pretzel perfection. That is really good. Oh, thank you. What's also really good in Freiburg is finding new stuff, like a food truck and fairgrounds coffee with older, like the fair itself, or Trumbull's Hardware, where I could have spent a whole day, or, Saco Valley Lanes, where I actually did spend part of a whole morning basically reliving another decade. All the lanes are from like the 40s, 50s, all renovated and uh, everything's old fashioned. Scott Lane, still finishing college, will soon be taking over the family's Freiburg bowling alley from his grandfather, Jim Lane. Yeah, the lanes own these lanes. Yeah, it's kind of surprising and we get a lot of people that ask why we haven't changed it to Lane's Lanes yet. Little else has changed here either. Authentic New England candle pins, and on this morning, the bi-weekly coffee league in full swing. How competitive is the coffee league? Oh, this is just fun. Yeah? This is, but the other one is, uh, we, on Thursdays, we have another league. That's competitive. That's competitive. Yeah. I don't think I'm quite ready for Thursdays yet. I was ready for lunch, though. You'll find 302 West Smokehouse and Tavern in the center of Freiburg on, surprise, surprise, Route 302 West. You'll also find some wicked good barbecue. We have so many different people. We have bikers, we have locals. Fair Week's crazy. Yes. Bob Wentworth opened up here a decade ago and runs things today with daughter Sandra. They've got the smokehouse thing down. So we do an excellent job with our ribs, so they're smoked really low and slow, and the pulled pork is the favorite. Who am I to argue? A tasty finish to a Freiburg day. No fare in sight, but plenty to see and do just the same, or do nothing and enjoy the view.
If you've never been, we'd heartily recommend visiting Freiburg sometime during the non-fair part of the year, which would be the other 51 weeks. But there's no question that the fair is a huge draw and a slice of classic New England. However, this year the fair will be virtual and will run from October 4th through the 11th. There will be online videos, photos, music and contests. Next, Onset is looking for its comeback. 